We're on a boat in the Bahamas and we have a mini myth about sharks. Okay, what is it? It's that sharks can see out of water and attack prey there. Where does this one come from? It comes from the movie Deep Blue Sea. Apparently there's a shark and he's cruising around, he sees a parrot about six feet above the water, leaps out and catches it. That's this webisode myth. Can sharks really see food and then attack it even if it's out of water? The plan for this myth is simple. First, we stick a piece of fish in the water to make sure that the sharks are biting. Then, we take a piece of fish, put it at the end of a stick, hold it above the water, and wait for the sharks to see if they can see it and if they'll jump out of the water to eat it. It's an eyesight test to find out if sharks can see prey above water. And for no reason other than cruelty, Tori and Carrie decide that Grant should watch the action from underwater. My role in this experiment is to be underwater. And what I'm going to be doing is telling Tori and Carrie, who are above the water, whether the sharks are able to see the bait, interested in the bait, and going for it. And with Grant Hang in 10, Tori's not sure how he sees this myth. Can the shark see out of water? I, you know what? I'm not sure. I, I just don't know how good eyesight uh, sharks have. Usually they hunt by smell. And if the fish is outside of the water, they have nothing to smell. So they're just going by their eyes. I don't know. This is going to be a good test whether or not they can see. To attract the sharks to begin with, the team throws in some bait. We're about to throw a little fishy in. Over. All right. Throw in the fish. And as if hearing a dinner bell reverberate through the ocean, the sharks arrive, much to Grant's delight. Okay, there are a lot of sharks around. Don't need to attract any more. Please get on with the test. Over. With enough sharks, at least for Grant, Carrie spikes a fish and holds it, well, like a fish out of water. I'm going to hold it above the water, see if they jump up. But you want to dry it off? Yeah, because we don't want any juices falling into the ocean. With no dripping juices to influence the test, will the sharks leap like salmon? All right, Grant, we have the fish on the hook. She's going to have it above the water, probably about a foot. And we'll see if the sharks can see it. Initially, there's no reaction from the sharks. But Grant's not seeing anything either. I cannot see the fish out of water. Observant viewers will notice that Grant is wearing a dive mask. That's because the human eye can only focus light that's passed through air, not water. Shark's eyes have the opposite design. Built for water, they, in theory, cannot see out of it. Ah! But there goes that theory. And it didn't touch the water? He just came right up and then bam, attack. The team tries again, oh. and again, and get the same result. Whatever you're doing up there is working. Dude, they're oh, jumping yes. out of the water trying to get the bait. I'm not sure if they're seeing it in focus, but they are seeing it, are recognizing it as food, and are grabbing it. And that means we can wrap up this mini myth. Almost pulled me down with it. I am totally convinced. They can see from underneath the water. Hey, Grant, I think we can call this one confirmed. What do you think? Absolutely. They're definitely going for the bait. Over. These sharks can definitely see outside of the water. Myths confirmed.